Hey everyone, it's Tuesday and you're watching Nerd Fighter Vacation. And this is my 16th take. So, main points. One, I'm sick again. Two, in my original, well, what I meant to be normal filming place, but I couldn't because my camera was crap. Now I have a new one, thanks to my parents, so thanks mom and dad. And yeah, this way, this way. <laughs> This week, we are talking about our bu our bucket lists, or things we want to do before we die. So I took 15 things from my bucket list, and decided to share them with you. So, yep, six, um, 16 of them. Well, <laughs> brain's not working. A lot of them are cliche, that's because many people want to do the same things, so deal with it. <laughs> um, number one, I want to skydive because it scares the shit out of me and I just cussed on YouTube, so that should show you how much it scares me. Number two, drive a stick shift or a manual transmission car. Drive a stick shift with a car that is a, that has a manual transmission. I know words. Speaking of words, number three, become fluent in Latin or Esperanto so I can understand words. Number four, Disneyland, self-explanatory. Five, where'd you go? Visit blank country, and I have listed England, Wales, Scotland, Ireland, and Austria. Those are my five main countries I want to visit. So I'm not a culturally inept American for the rest of my life. Number six is my middle school self. See a Good Charlotte concert. So, yep, I've loved them since I was in middle school. I even enjoy them now. Not because they're the best, but because the music is relatable to an extent. Number seven, plant a tree. Because that would be cool. And it would kind of be like me leaving a part of me behind, but not really. Yeah. Number eight, <laughs> is to see Craig Ferguson live in his studio audience because he's so amazing and I love him to death and yeah Craig Ferguson is on my list and you know what list I'm talking about because we're all adults here number nine go to VidCon because self-explanatory number ten finish all the Harry Potter books I've seen all the movies I'm on book five or six, and I like the way I did it because I find that I understand and enjoy the movies more, and I don't regret doing it the way I did, aka reading it first. I'm okay with my decision. Number 11, see the Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis. So up in Alaska, lights in the skies. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch Brother Bear. It'll explain it all to you. Number 12, build a Rube Goldberg, mach Goldberg machine. If you don't know what that is, you're already on YouTube, search it. Um, but it's awesome and it's creative and I want to do it so I can use my brain and do something completely redundant and non-useful. Number 13, make sure that my family knows how much I love them. And I don't know how to do that yet but I'm assuming I have many more, so hopefully I do. Number 14 is missing. Great, no, okay, number 14 is dumb because we'll learn more. So I wanna learn more because I want to learn more. Yay, circular reasoning. And if I were to learn more, I wouldn't have to use that as a concrete reason. So take that. Oh man, I went out of order. So, my number 13 was supposed to be take more horseback riding lessons. So, that's explanatory. I think. I would assume. Who doesn't want to ride horses? I guess people who are scared of horses, but yeah. Anyway, I ride horses. Not now, but I used to take lessons. I like them. I used to teach kids how to ride, and I think it'd be nice to brush up on my riding skills so I can help others learn too. And this take was so good until the end when I upped it up and couldn't read numbers. But I don't care anymore. So yeah. Um, yeah, last week, TJ, thank you for understanding my plight for not seeing my family 
in a long time. And I know it's not really a plight, but yeah, I appreciate your kind words as well as Weasley says for um, acknowledging the fact that we met through Twitter. And <laughs> now we're on a cloud channel together. Yay! So yeah, and then Alicia, um, thank you for sharing with us what you're thankful for. I appreciate it very much. So, yep, hopefully you all had a great Thanksgiving holiday slash end of November weekend. And my Thanksgiving was good. I got to go home with my family. The normal six hour drive took eight and a half to get there. And then that happened on Wednesday. And then Thanksgiving morning, we actually had to put down one of my dogs that I've had since middle school. So that was kind of hard, but we came back, me and my mom came back and everyone helped cook Thanksgiving dinner. And it was kind of the first Thanksgiving. It was, it was like a communal effort to actually look towards cooking. So that was awesome. It was actually really fun. Um, Black Friday, I bought stuff, my parents bought stuff, my brother bought stuff, my sister bought stuff, and stuff was bought. Saturday, I had lunch with my uncle and aunt, and then I had coffee with some friends from back home, and if I move back now, I have places to stay, slash live and pay rent, because that's what good, honest people do. Pay rent when they live somewhere that is not their parents' home, or even if you live with your parents, pay rent, it's all good too. Um, yeah, then I came back on Sunday, and yeah, it took eight hours to get home too, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Viewers, if you're still watching this video, I don't know why, because it's so long and ridiculous, ugh, please feel free to leave video responses, comments, and I'll do my best to respond to them. Haven't really been the best at that, but I will change, because now I have time to, because, yeah. Things change for the better. I'm actually really excited. So, have a great day, all of you. TJ, I will see you tomorrow. And as always, everyone, DFTBA. Oh,